All right, Sketchpad Podcast. You know what it is. We back, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today, we're going to be watching Donald Trump dismantle Joe Biden for his racist narrative. And he's going to flip it on Joe Biden and show everybody that he is the, in fact, the racist one. So without further ado, we'll be back. Sketchpad, you know what it is. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Thank y'all for the donations. If you want to donate, it's right there. You know what I'm saying? Everything's on the screen. Uh, if you, you know, don't feel like doing all that, just just share the content. And uh, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of the greatest podcast in the world. You know what it is, Sketch Pad. Let's go. Donald Trump, man. Going in on Joe. Sleepy Joe, Joe, Joe. Sleepy Joe, Joe. So let's go. The radical Democrat Party has waged war on black families for many, many decades. Think of it. It's really a hundred years. It's a century. They've controlled these cities for a hundred years. Hard to believe. I said, can't be. It is. They've controlled. And look at what you take a look at Baltimore. You take a look at New York. You take a look at Chicago. You take a look at all of these places. Take a look at what's going on in the West Coast. Take a look at what's happening. And they've controlled these cities for a hundred years. And nothing happens. Uh, they're slum areas. They're dangerous. Nothing has nothing has happened. And we're going to change it. We're going to change it. On top of everything else, Joe Biden really has proven to be a very nasty and vicious racist. He's been a racist. Whether you like it or don't like it, I happen not to like it. Most of the people in this room happen to not like it. And if somebody does like it, they're not supposed to be here. <laughs> Biden spent years palling around with notorious segregationists. You know that. He boasted that his home state was a slave state. He was very proud of that. He thought it was great. If you go back and look at his body language and the way he said it, he was very proud of it. He said that he didn't want his children to grow up in a, quote, racial jungle. I don't want my children in a racial jungle. <laughs> Joe Biden drafted the 1994 crime bill, which caused unfair sentencing disparities that devastated the black community, black families. Cory Booker called Biden the architect of mass incarceration. Remember this. It was a time when Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden were talking about predators and super predators. You heard that. This is a hell of a lot more of a speech than you thought you were going to get, isn't it, huh? <laughs> they thought we'd be boring them. We'd make, uh, we'd give a little quick boring speech, but uh, we got to, it's called, let's tell it like it is, right? <laughs> and then years later. <laughs> <laughs> tell it like it is. Thank you very much. I just want to tell the truth. Remember, remember Howard Cosell? I just tell it like it is. It ended up getting him fired, but these are my. <laughs> and then years later, in an act of stolen valor, Crooked Joe had the nerve to falsely portray himself as a hero of the civil rights movement, which was such, which was so false. And then he said that if African Americans didn't vote for him, you ain't black. Now that one, that one, you know, that one, that one's been so recent, I didn't even want to, but he did say that. A lot of people were surprised. He did say that. But that one's so recent, I didn't even want to put it in. We had to go back to the real stuff. But he did say that. I was a little surprised to see it. I'm sure you were, too. Unlike racist Joe Biden, I've spent my entire life working hand-in-hand -hand with black Americans to create jobs, build buildings, invest in our communities, and expand opportunity and freedom for citizens of every race, religion, color, and creed. And we have. I built a lot of buildings. And I want to tell you, a black worker is a great worker. You've done an incredible job. They've done an incredible job really talented, great people. And that goes for others too. Hispanic is incredible. You know, the Hispanic numbers are been, you know, they're through the roof. So this is the second clip of uh, confirming what Donald Trump was saying about Joe Biden. Some of the racist things he has said. So just in case y'all don't get it and y'all didn't hear it. Here you go. Right here. As plan in the basement said, quote, we already have a mayor. We don't need any more big shots. 
You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. I recognize that kid wearing a hoodie may very well be the next poet laureate and not a gangbanger. You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. All right, so yeah, so seeing that you heard that. So Donald Trump continues. Let's go. Then a lousy job for everybody, but for black Americans, they have done a very poor job. Every day, we are welcoming more black voters back home to the Republican Party. You remember the party of Lincoln, party of Lincoln, to help us reclaim the party of Frederick Douglass, party of Abraham Lincoln and other great people. Back. Look, man, say what you want. But you got to let the people choose who they want as the president. You can't sit up here and try to pretend like black people or white people are stupid because they vote or they want to vote for Donald Trump. People got to stop this. This stupid narrative of, well, I can't vote for him because he's this and he's that. Let's just be clear here. I'm just going to go on a limb on this one. I want y'all to understand this. It's black. I'm speaking I'm speaking to black people. Every president besides Obama, everybody labeled them as racist or somewhat racist or had some type of racist racial int- uh, 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 racial intentions towards black people. Good not good intentions, bad intentions towards black people. So what is the difference now? Let's just say, for argument's sake, let's just say Donald Trump is racist, right? But if you label all the presidents as racist, then then why would you not vote for Donald Trump? Why would you vote for Joe Biden? He had his chance. Look, he was in office for four years. Did it do anything for you? Has it been better for you? Nobody, nobody in the United States can convince me that Joe Biden is a better president than Donald Trump in no way, shape or form. I don't care even if you try to throw COVID in there, because that's not something that Donald Trump could, could have had controlled or even predicted because before COVID, everything was fine. Gas prices was low. The economy was booming. I don't care if you come to me and say, well, Obama implemented these things. It doesn't matter. So if you're going to use the argument of Obama and saying that Trump continued the policies, guess what? The policies that Trump implemented after Obama, why didn't Joe Biden keep them things going? It actually went off a cliff. Everything went downhill when Joe Biden became the president. I wish y'all just say, you know what? We chose wrong. Just admit that you picked the wrong guy. Stop trying to make it seem like Donald Trump is the worst guy and he was the worst president or he was bad. You picked the wrong man. This is the results of picking the wrong man. Period. Just just look at this. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, damn, I was wrong. I picked the wrong guy. Get out your fucking feelings. Because most of y'all, y'all vote with y'all feelings. Y'all don't vote off policies. Because if y'all did, none of y'all would have voted for Joe Biden. Most of y'all vote out of how y'all feel. And they playing y'all because what they do is they make y'all, and this I'm talking to black people, they playing y'all. Because they make y'all vote out of y'all feelings. They keep bringing the same words up. Racism, 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 systemic racism. White supremacy, racism, racism, racism. And y'all vote against that. The same white guy who's telling you about systemic racism and races locked up more black men than any other president combined. That guy that's in the office right now wrote that crime bill. You can't defend that. There's nothing you can do to defend that. So when people talk to me about, oh, well, Trump is a racist, you voted for a guy who 
incarcerated your people. How can you tell me that this man is a racist when you voted for the guy who's literally a racist? It's crazy. And he's providing everything to you right there. You can't get no better than that. Everything that they throwing at y'all is about race and to get under your skin to make you vote out of emotion. Black people need to stop voting out of emotion or stop being what they call a one subject voter or one issue voter. Oh, I don't like. I don't like abortion, um, the abortion. I'm going to vote against that guy. Or I don't like the fact that he said this. So I'm going to vote against that guy. Stop being a one issue voter. You have to look at mo everything. Everything. You got to look at everything. Everything just doesn't affect you and your personal feelings. So yeah. that was a good speech, man. And I'm glad he did it right in front of black people, too. And that's what the mainstream media is not going to tell y'all. They're going to show y'all some clip of him saying something about uh uh something about um he said the lights are bright in here. He said, I can't see no white people. I only see a bunch of black faces. So basically he's saying, I'm standing in front of a bunch of black people. We came a long way. Before I was it wasn't no white people here. Now, look, they're trying to spin that as him saying, calling people blackface. How? How? The man is saying, I'm standing in front of a bunch of black people now. Before we wasn't doing this. Now, look, mm -hmm. I, do, I don't understand it. But they've been playing, y'all. And I just just know, remember what I said. But you got it, bro. Yeah, if you notice what the cameraman did too, the cameraman panned back and then he showed or so showing Trump being surrounded by all those black uh black men in uh in suits and stuff like that. So I knew I knew that had to be purposely because they wanted everybody to see like who was surrounding him at the at the event. Yeah, man. Um look the the writings on the wall you know what I mean? It's not it's not too hard to figure out. The writings on the wall is right there in front of your face, you know? This is why I said it before and I say it again that politics is is such a rough such a rough thing to follow and it's such a rough thing like, you know, profession for for anybody to try to get into and in general it's just it's just not something that I like that I like dealing with because like I I don't I wouldn't vote off emotion but I definitely would vote out of anger if something happened to me under another president's watch and I know they could have done better I definitely would vote out of anger well that's 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 an emotion so, well that's that's emotion that's emotion you know what I mean um what what I what I'm saying is that you know, I would be one of those folks that do that because I'm upset. But mm -hmm. at the same time, too, at the same time, too, I also be one of those folks that will kind of uh, check myself in, like how to how to like analyze who I'm going to vote for. Like you know, because I I I didn't vote this year, this go around. I didn't vote this go around. I'm contemplating on if I'm going to do this one coming up. Um, the last go around, I didn't do it because I just felt like, you know, I was like, for what? That's how I just felt. For what? Like, I was like, everything is just falling all over the place. This guy is going to end up winning anyway. So I was like, what's the, I said, what's the point? What's the point? And as you can see, they made that happen they made that happen almost almost automatic. So it wasn't a matter of who I would have voted for. He would have won regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you see what they did, you know, and it won't be, and it won't surprise me if they don't try that thing again, if they don't do it again, you know? So, I yeah. mean, it is what it is, you know, but uh, he's right, man. 
he's right. You know, we're dealing, we're dealing. This is this is the this is the era of the bigots, the bigots, bigotry. That's the that's the that's the that's that's the era that we're living in. Like, we live in a hip. We live in an era of hypocritical people, who who say one thing and do something else, and we live in an era that. Basically, racism is everything, is in everything. It's an excuse for everything. Racism this, racism that. The word is so misused nowadays, man. You don't even know what's what. It doesn't, it doesn't, racism doesn't even, the word racism doesn't even hold that significance anymore. It doesn't even hold a significance anymore. It doesn't even mean anything to nobody anymore. So people just misuse it however, especially the news media. The news media really misuses it. They indirectly misuse it, and and uh, they misuse it the other way around. So, yeah. So, just know that you're being played. There's a lot of things that people don't pay attention to, and us as black people, I'm speaking for us right now. Us as black people, we follow people too much we do not want to go research because we are lazy listeners we like to look at things the front headline that's it and we are we want want things to be conveniently showed to us so we can move on with our daily lives it's like well we don't want nothing complicated nothing you try to explain something to somebody, it's frustrating because they don't want to hear it because they want to believe what they believe. That's it. They don't want to believe nothing else. You can show them the proof and show them the facts and what they do. Oh, it don't even matter. But what about this? It's always the what about. It's never, you know what, you're right. And I didn't even think about that. Let me look at that. And it's like, okay, let me show you this. And it's like, oh, let me do my own research. But then they mm -hmm. never do no research. Mm -hmm. Because their research is someone else doing research for them and giving them, or their research is someone telling them something that they don't know if it's true or not. They just believe it. Mm -hmm. But they'll follow people like Joy Reid, who clearly says things like uh, the, the reason why Trump won the last primary against Nikki Haley is because white, uh, white, uh, evangelical Christians. Okay. So what are you saying? Oh, the conservative party. Now, look, I want y'all to understand something. Most black people are conservatives, but they got y'all standing against what y'all actually believe. That's the crazy part. Most most black people believe in 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 religion, Jesus, you know what I'm saying, whatever you want to call it. Most black people don't believe in abortion. Most black people believe in um in a uh, higher power, all that spiritual people. That's the same thing as as conservatives. But they got y'all believing that conservatism is the worst thing ever. And y'all follow it. <laughs> so with that being said, we out of here. You know what it is. Amen. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>